Hello all, welcome to Sana Kids Store. Today I am here to teach about this game called Alaguli Mane. We call this as Alaguli Mane and it has different names in different regions. And the way it is played also differs. And today I am going to show you the way that we have played during our childhood. The way that our grandmoms have taught us. So we start by putting 5 shells in each uh, hole. 4, 5. So we can also use tamarind seeds to play this. But this set comes with cowrie shells or kavade. So I am putting 5 in each of them. So now we have uh, 5 pawns in each hole. So we start the game. There are 2 players. These are my holes. I can start the game only by picking one of these. And the other person can pick only from this. So if I start, I break one hole and start putting one in each and once it gets over I take from the next I continue doing this till there is an empty hole now that it's got over here I wipe this and the next one I take and also the one on the other side. So these shells now belong to me. Now the other person has to start playing. He can break any one of them and start putting one in each hole. And take from the next one. And once you find four shells in a uh, hole, you pick it off. It's called as karu and it belongs to the side that it is. So if it is here, I take it off. If it is on the other side, it belongs to the other person. There is four, so I'm taking it off. And if you do not see and miss to take it, you cannot take it once it is 5. So he is wiping that and taking both of this. Wow. So it's my turn now. And I start playing. And there is 4 here. So I take this off. And I stopped here, so I pick from here. There is four, I take it off. You continue playing till you get a empty hole. So I get an empty hole, I wipe this and I get only one. So it's his turn now. Yes, so he gets that. And there is also a karu here. If he forgets to take it, I would not be reminding him. But now that as I am showing you how to play, I did that. So it's one, two, three. I wipe this and take this. It's his turn now. Yes. There's nothing. There's nothing. So now I take this and it's his turn. But there is nothing to play. No, you can't play from this side. You can play only from your side. So this now belongs to me. Now I have won this and he has won that. We'll have to again put it only on our side. So whatever belongs to me, I put it on my side. And he puts it on his side. You can start putting 5 in each. We have uh, finished putting 5 in each. And here... He has got shortage for one hole. So he can't be putting this. And this is called as becoming a pauper. So he has lost one house. So he will be putting something else here. And we won't be using this hole to play now. So we will continue the game the same way. And uh, what will happen here is. So last time I played. So he will be starting the game now. So we will miss that uh, hole. And put it to other holes. So as you can see, we are not using that hole. So 
so he gets this so and i play the same way that we played last time and not to forget that we won't be putting any of the shells into this so now what will happen is in the next uh, by the time we finish this game he may lose one or more houses or he can get back all of them by um, winning more pawns than me so we continue this game till one of us becomes the pauper so in case next time if he loses more house so this is mine in case that next time he doesn't have enough pawns for three houses what we do is we put the same thing to all the three and we do not uh, uh, put shells to those so we continue the game till he loses all the holes or it can happen the other way also the next time that we are playing i may have shortage of pawns so he may have everything but i may have shortage and then what we do is we put the leaf to the leaf or paper or anything to the hole that has shortage and we keep it away from putting the shells so we continue this game and play till one becomes the winner we can also stop the time that we get bored or we are done playing and we can count who has the highest number of shells and the one with the highest wins or you can continue this game till the one person loses all the houses and becomes the pauper that's it hope you like the game happy shopping with sana